think it's working. Hello, hello, I am Summer. Welcome to Power Sculpt Express 45 minutes. Um, you will need a set of weights. The playlist is below, beside, somewhere clickable nearby. Um, if you can crossfade, do it, then our music will like sync up and it'll be lovely. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. So grab your stuff, grab your mat, come on to it, downward facing dog. Press the L shape of your fingers. Put your shoulders down your back. Sink your heels towards your mat. Stretch through your calves, open your hamstrings. Thing that feels good here, go for it. So full disclosure, I just taught this class uh, twice. So I'm a little bit sweaty. There's like a bug flying around here, it keeps laying on me. So I'm not twitching, I promise. <laughs> and it's yet to go like smoothly either time. So we'll see what happens. Um, this could go to hell in a handbasket and we're in it together. But either way, I want you to think about judgment. So how much we judge our performance. So whether you are just getting back to your practice, it's kind of hanging on by a thread or somewhere in between there, just know that you are exactly where you need to be. And you are doing a great freaking job in these weird, weird times. That also lets me off the hook for any weirdness that happens here. So just so we're clear, take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go. If you haven't pressed play, do it now. I forgot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can do this in down dog. You sure could. We're on. We're on. We're ready. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Take your feet out, mat distance, maybe a little wider, find ragdoll pose. Gen generously bend through your knees. Point the crown of your head towards your mat. I love the option for a bind. Take your hand to your opposite bicep. Maybe sway side to side if it feels good. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, release your hands to your mat. Inhale your right arm high, ragdoll with a twist. Breathe here. Bend generously through your left knee. Square your hips towards your mat. Now roll your top shoulder back. Maybe you roll through your wrist. Shoulder circles. Allow the pops and cracks to happen, no judgment. Inhale up one more inch. Exhale, release your right hand down. Inhale, your left arm high, ragdoll with a twist. Breathe here, same rules apply. Bend through your right knee. Square your hips. Match the wrist circles, shoulder rolls. Ease into this, you guys. Feel your hamstrings open up. Inhale, up one more inch. Exhale, forward fold. Heel toe your feet together. Inhale, halfway lift. Actively press your hands into your shins, flatten your back, point the crown of your head straight forward. Stay for a big breath in, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, rise all the way up, keep breathing. Stack one vertebra on top of the next. Glide your shoulders down your back. Now turn your pinkies in to bronze to the back side of your body. Stay for a big breath in. Exhale, mini back bend. Breathe here. Cactus your arms, pinch your shoulder blades together. Now tuck your tailbone under slightly. Engage through your lower belly. Exhale. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. It's our first one, maybe your first one in quarantine. Lower to a mid plank, raise your elbows along the ribcage. Inhale, upward facing dog. Tap your feet into the mat. Exhale, downward facing dog. You've been here before. Take a few pedals. Breathe in. Exhale, let it go. Bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, mini back bend. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, Charanga. Maybe it's an Adaranga. There's no judgment here. Nobody's watching. I can't see you. You know that, right? Meaning downward facing dog. Big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Bend your knees, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Change your inhale, chair pose. Breathe. In chair pose, dig your weight into your heels. Lift and wiggle all ten toes. Now, you can't see your toes. Send your hips, your shins back. 
From here, tuck your tailbone under again, slightly to engage your lower abdominals. Stay for a big breath in. Exhale, airplane arms. Breathe here. Extend your arms above your hips. Now turn your palms in, squeeze them toward each other. Lock out your triceps. You feel that? Stay for the exhale. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. No, I'm not doing it. You're not looking. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, your right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Step through, breathe here. Step your front knee over your ankle, like directly on top. Now roll your back heel up over your toes. Pull your belly off your thigh. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, crescent lunge. Breathe here. Recommit to your front lunge. Take your hips in line with your knees. Now bend your back knee to square your hips forward. Stay for the inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Breathe here. Spin your back foot to parallel with the back of your mat. Now press to the knife edge of your foot. Now lock out this leg. I want it strong. Have muscle to bone. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior. Breathe here. If you've had a lot of wine over quarantine, you've been stuck at home with your kids, no judgment. But like me, maybe it feels better to look at the back foot and have a little more balance, a little more grounding. Stay for a big breath in. Exhale, chaturanga, when you down. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe here. Step your foot in between your hands. Parallel your front hamstring with your mat. Now lift your back hamstring towards the ceiling. Belly up. Whoops. Exhale. Inhale, crescent lunge. Breathe. Bend your back knee as much as you need to. Square your hips forward. Glide your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Same rules apply. Keep breathing. Now stack your shoulders over your hips. I find myself leaning here. Don't do it. Hips, shoulders, and neck. Exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior. Breathe here. Lengthen through both sides of your body first, and then lean back. Stay for a big breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Let's flow. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, please. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, your left leg. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Big breath in. Yeah, we're moving now. Exhale, let it go. A little bit of housekeeping as you stretch as you move as needed with your dumbbells, with your props. We don't use them on a halfway lift. After reverse warrior, before chaturanga, we'll pull pivot plant. I'll remind you, don't worry. You guys ready to move? Not yes. Say yes. I'm going to take it as a yes. Big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, hinge forward, high plank. You've got to push up to an egg roll. Here we go. Push up, jump forward, egg roll. Push up, egg roll. Push up, egg roll. This one sucks. This one's fun. Keep going. It's like adult playtime. It's adult playtime. You're rolling all over the floor. Your dog is super jazzed or super pissed. It doesn't matter, but this is your time to move. Play around, get weird. You put on stretchy pants for this. Well, let's hope you put on some pants for this, right? It's not one of those Zoom calls. Come on. Yeah, it's weird. Just keep going. Keep going. You got to build the momentum. Get yourself in there. <laughs> Five. High plank in three, last two, 
Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your knees to the forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, no weights. Exhale, fold, grab your dumbbells. Inhale, chair pose. Take your feet out wide. So wide chair, sink your booty down. You got an alternate clean and press. So one weight at a time, clean and press. Pull it up and press. Pull it up and press, you got it, this is fast. If you're using bottles of wine, for God's sakes, be careful. <laughs> Come on. Come on, pick them up, put them down. All right, guys, spoiler alert. We have like a million chaturangas to do, so really do take this one arm at a time. Just saying, just saying. You don't need to kill your shoulders just yet. But the depth comes from your lower body. Sink your glutes down. Lift through your chest and gaze. Yeah. Drop your seat beneath your knees. Uh-huh, uh-huh. See, this is as hard as it's going to get. Promise. Five more seconds. Pick it up. Three, two. Inhale, chair pose. Bring your heels heel back in. Exhale, airplane arms. Time to catch your breath. Tricep kickbacks. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. How's your chair pose? Tuck your tailbone under. All right, again. I want you to pull your elbows above your rib cage. Lock them in. Press your shoulders down. Bring your knuckles to your hips only, and then you press out back. To your hips and back. To your hips. Lock them out. To your hips. Lock them out. Yeah, there it is. Remember the good old days? We get like all up in your space and make you lift your dumbbells up. Think of that, right? Lock it out. Squeeze your triceps and then lower with control. Your knuckles point to the ground only. So I'm saying none of this. None of this. Like you will eventually hit your tricep back here, but you're like building momentum and using your biceps. No bueno. The goal is to burn out the back of your arms. Slow and control. Pinch it back. Turn your palms in the face with another. So good. So even though we're not judging, we want you to check your ego here. If you're to a point where you can't get your dumbbells above your hips, ditch your dumbbells, ditch your props, ditch your waist, ditch whatever it is that's causing more resistance, and then just squeeze what your mama gave you. The goal is to burn out your triceps, not do X amount of X weight. For who? Nobody's watching anyway. You are your own worst critic. We all are. Get rid of it. Create the feels. Create the sensations. It's getting juicy, yeah? It's because your triceps are teeny tiny. I'm not picking on you, not you, not your triceps, but like proportionally with the rest of your body. They're teeny tiny. Yes, we're still doing this. Sink lower in your chair. How's your core? Oops, hugging up and in. Five more. You can do it. Come on. Last three. Two. Exhale, chair, airplane arms. Inhale, chair pose. Chair pose. Take your feet back out wide. You've got weighted squat jumps. You touch the ground, explode, touch, explode. Point your toes, dang it. Come on, get some air. Again, the depth comes from your booty. You've already prepped for this. You prepped with the squat and the clean and press. You're ready, you're ready. Let's go. You've already spiked your heart rate a little bit. But here's the thing. The more you go now, the more bang for your buck you get as you move on. There's a reason we take express classes. I don't know about you guys, but I'm like looking at the online class. I'm like, hour? Nope. 60 minutes? Nope. You went over, didn't you? 55? Out of here. Don't act like you don't know. This is also the part where I'm on water break number three. Do not do it. Not today. Today is not the day we quit. Push. Stay in the work. Deeper. Faster, bigger. Pick it up. Eight seconds. Everything you've got. Decide. Decide you're going to do it. No more excuses. Go. Three. Last two. Three. Jesus. Inhale. Chair pose. Woo, bring it back in. Exhale, forward fold, thank God. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Hot day, how are we feeling, friends? A little winded? Fair. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, low lunge. Grab your dumbbells, your props, whatever, in one hand, your left hand. Hold your low lunge. Now, don't want your hands on your mat. Lift up, brace through your belly, feel your right butt cheek get super pissed right off the bat, alternating narrow and wide rows. Inhale, lower, exhale, pull. Inhale, lower, 
exhale wide. Narrow, wide. Narrow, wide. Lead with your shoulder. Pull with your shoulder blade. Your elbow will follow. Now think about pulling your dumbbells towards your hips. Feel the difference in your back. Hinge forwards. You can use your back and not your shoulders. Again, remember a million chaturangas. It's up. It is working. Your right butt cheek should be freaking out. Now the good news is your phone a friend hamstring will like light up and like cover it. Your hamstring should now be freaking out as well. That's a thing. It's where we're going. It's what we're doing. It's on purpose. That's why we're doing it. Stay in the work. So often we want to dump our upper body into our front leg. Don't do that. Don't do that. It makes it harder. Brace everything. Keep pulling. You're here for a hot second. Last five. Three. Two. Exhale, low lunge. Put a weight in each hand. Inhale, crescent lunge. Bring your waist to heart center. Let's pick it up. You've got a knee drop, forward jump. Step your knee forward. Step back, knee drop, jump it forward. Back knee drop, jump it forward. Back knee drop, jump it forward. The weights are here just to give you extra body weight, a little more to work for. Crescent my heart center, like flare through your chest, elbows out, make this active. Tell yourself it's better than a Mario jump, because it is. You get the mini reprieve as you jump both feet forward. So your crescent to forward. Crescent jumps forward. Crescent leg jumps forward. Come on. Hot damn, I'm winded from like trying it. But you're not judging me. I'm not judging me. I'm a little out of practice. But where does judgment come from, right? Because we set these goals and intentions, but so often our actions sort of contradict those goals and intentions. And when you try that on and you think about that more, it's like, hot damn, that's like in everything in life, right? Because you're human. And it's okay, but check in. Think about what you want, what you want most. Are your actions getting you closer to it? Can you dig a little deeper? I know you're mad. You can get mad at me and that's okay because you want to quit. I'm here to push you. I'm pushing you past the point you want to go and past what you think you can do. Yes, you can. Yes, I can. Yes, I will. Four seconds. Everything you've got for three. Last two. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Let's slow it down. You've got an in and out bicep curl. Bring your elbows in towards your body. Bicep curl, palms face up. Forward to the side. Squeeze it. Up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Pinch it. Squeeze it up. Flex your guns, people. Come on. You can swing light weights, beverages, all day long. We don't have all day. It's not about bending your elbows and moving props. It's about flexing your guns, contracting your muscles. When you flex, when you contract, it gets shorter. The rest just follows. Put the focus in your muscles, friends. Then all of a sudden, this wine bottle you've been lifting for weeks is a little heavier, right? Create that mind-muscle connection. Think lower in your lunge. I know at home we're also not in front of a mirror. Oh, God, really, <laughs> right? I've been avoiding them in general. But can you get your hips in line with your knees? We all do. We all kind of creep and stand up, lean in, come back to it. I mean, we're going to change it up in like a minute. Just be here. Just be in this moment. Nothing worth having comes for free. But what are you willing to put towards your goals? What are you willing to give? I'm not saying it's me perfect. No. This is not easy, you guys. It's not meant to be easy. It doesn't come for free. But dig a little deeper. You still get the benefits. And you're that much closer. It doesn't get easier because you get stronger. Sink lower. Yeah. Four. Three. Two, add a cat raise. Squeeze it up. Squeeze it up. Pinch it. Pull your cab in the back of your knee. Up. Up. Inhale down. Exhale, squeeze. You get a baby reprieve, a mini reprieve. You get a bigger range of motion. We won't call it full. In four, three, last two. Last one, waist to the side, you lower, come up three quarters, lower, three quarter raise. Just three quarters. Whoo! Well, the good news 
kids, you're out of your glutes. Now we're in our inner thighs. Yeah, we're not complete gluttons for punishment. We move it around. Come up three quarters away. Three quarters only. Every fiber of your being is screaming, honey, straighten your legs. Don't do it. Stay in this well. It's not a sweet spot. It's a sour spot. But know that it's meant to be. Push. What are you willing to give? You get what you put in. Okay, think about that for a minute. You get what you put in. Can you give a little more? The answer is yes, you can. If you are not shaking, you are not working hard enough. You are not sinking lower. There it is. I know it's tough love. I know, I know. And it's not a judgment thing, you guys. That's off the table. We've already established that. This is you showing up for you. You carved out this time. You had to hide from your children or pretend you're still working and kind of check it in the background, right? You're not in a hurry to get back to that. Be here. Lean into it. There it is. Five more seconds. I know, I know. Roll your eyes. You can cuss. That's cool. Last two. Exhale, warrior two. Slide under your elbows. Inhale, reverse warrior. Put your weight straight above your shoulder. Exhale, chaturanga. Pull, pivot, clean your weights. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Hinge forward, high plank. Don't slap me. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. High plank. Exhale, jump your feet out wide. Low hop into a jack. Low hop, jack. Low hop, jack. Low hop, jack. When I say low hop, I mean your knees stay bent. Kick your feet forward. Use the strength of your calves to point your toes. The jacks that are brave. Yeah. That's my glasses, man. The normal cardio burst are your brain. Sorry. It's because, well, if I'm being honest, I freaking hate cardio. It's no secret. So I distract myself from it by doing weird stuff like this. Don't overthink it. Just keep moving. Maybe it's just the jacks. Maybe it's just the hops. For God's sake, pick something and go. There it is. Yes, friends. I know, I know, I know. You were just in like an owl moment. And now the shit show is back. Use it. Channel this little bit of rage and direct it at anybody. Any dog, child, spouse, partner, roommate, poking their head around that corner. This is your time. Scare them away. Yes. Five seconds. Oh, my God. It's going to end. Last three. Two. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. I know, I know. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Ooh. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Hot damn, we got another side. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Grab both dumbbells, both props in your right hand. Stay low, alternating narrow and wide rows. Inhale, lower. Exhale, pull. Inhale, lower. Exhale, out. Down, squeeze it back. Down, squeeze it up. Down, pull. Use your shoulder. I want you to point your shoulder back. Your elbow follows. Now hinge forward more. I know, I know your hamstring is like super pissed. Stay with me. Stay with me. Come on, it doesn't come for free. But you are capable of hard things. You can do hard things. You've got this. You know you can do it. You've already done it. Yeah. Like, well, it wasn't my favorite the first time. Yeah, but now you know. Now you know. There's no side three. Just get it done. Come on, let's go. Dig deeper. Yes, I can. Yes, I will. Watch me get it. Mean faces, friends. Let's go. Use them. Last three. Two. Exhale, low lunge. Dumbbell in each hand. Inhale, crescent lunge. Knees stay here. Bring your waist to heart center. Knee drop, jump forward. Knee tap, jump forward. Knee tap, jump forward. Your legs should feel like jello. Keep going. I want a nice long lunge back. Long lunge, just like your crescent lunge. Deep lunge, hop. Deep lunge, hop. This is what the knee drops for, friends, to keep you honest. I know. It's awful. It sucks. But you can do it. You can get through this. Keep going. Imagine how proud you're going to be when you are done with this thing. This is so temporary. This is the shortest blip of your day. You can do this. It's hard for me, too. I can't do this thing on stage. Jesus, I can barely demo it. Did you see that? But you're not judging me, so I'm cool. Keep going. Five. 
Last three. Two. Inhale, press and lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Spin open, sink low. We're back to in and out bicep curls. This time it's a hammer, thumbs up. Inside, outside. Pull it in, pull it up. Pull it in, pull it up, keep going. What you love about hammer curls is I can literally say anything to you right now. Who loves hammer curls? Who wants to do more? I know. Look, the jokes aren't any better in class. No one's laughing there either, so like this is kind of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were here for a hot second. I don't know if you remember if you blacked that out already. We're still in this. It's gonna be a minute. Because you know you can do it, you've already done it. We have to eat now. Good news, you're out of your butt cheek. You're into your inner thigh. Mostly out of your butt cheek. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You can do five more seconds. You get to add a calf raise. In three, two, squeeze it up and lower. Exhale up, inhale down, exhale lift, up. Pinch it. Squeeze your calf on the back of your knee, let's go. Lower, up, keep flexing. Which way to the beach, my friends? Oh, look, we're yogis. Tank top season doesn't end for us. Keep going. Now, come back to the mirror in the classroom situation. If you have a screen, a TV, door, a mirror, anything by you where you can kind of see yourself, look. You should have some liquid awesome coming out your pores. So you're like a little bit greasy. Probably some flattering lighting from way up there, right? This may be your first bicep curl in months. Maybe your 50th, I don't know, judgment. But look how good you look. Like it's instant validation, right? Who doesn't love that? You can like see the divot between your shoulder, your boulder shoulder and your bicep. So how often we're in a dressing room and we're judging ourselves. We're looking under that fluorescent light, not flattering. We're trying on clothes we thought were our size, but maybe aren't. And we're beating ourselves up over what we see and like the cellulite and the lack of a tan and whatever else. You guys, it couldn't care, like it couldn't matter less. It couldn't matter less. You are freaking gorgeous. Now, when you stay in these postures and you sink lower right now, not only do you look gorgeous, but you feel gorgeous inside and out. It's about being strong. It's about confidence. Confidence comes from getting real uncomfortable. Get uncomfortable. Five. Last three. Two. Just to the side. Three quarters. Inhale lower. Exhale, lift it up. Down. Three quarters. Three quarters. Woo! All right, it's these tiny movements that suck. Where you think you're getting out of it. You like flirt with that line of, oh, it's gonna get better, and then it doesn't. You don't get the reprieve. You will not straighten your leg. You do not straighten your leg. What are we not gonna do? Straighten our leg. You said it, come on. You should come see me in bar. This is, this is where we live in bar, right? Tiny movements. Looks like nothing burns like a mother. Come on. The ballerinas can do it. That's horrible. Come on. Five, four, three, two. Exhale, warrior two, sweet Jesus. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, chaturanga. Pull, pivot, clinch weights. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Bend your knees, look forward. Jump your feet in between your hands so it's narrow. You got an inside hop to a jack. Baby hop, jack. Baby hop, jack. Baby hop. Jacks are same as before, but this time it's a narrow hop. This time it's narrow. Keep it low, jack. Keep it low, jack. Keep your feet forward, jack. Yeah! You can do it, you can do it, you can do it, come on. Some of you are like better moms than me, better dads than me. You did some baking over the quarantine. Here's the deal. I just ate snacks. I didn't actually bake them myself. There was no home ec option for my kids. I just ate the snacks. In fact, if I'm being honest, I ate their snacks because they have the good stuff. Was it my best choice? Probably not. Is it the healthiest choice? Probably not. But now I have more fuel <laughs> and more body weight to put towards my workouts. Hot damn. 
win-win. It's all about perspective, friends. Use this time for you. Push. It's getting sucky. You want me to stop count? You want me to stop talking and start counting? It's not going to happen. Not till you get to that like oh shit moment. I think I'm allowed to say shit. Keep going. Set it twice. Eight seconds. Everything you've got. Go fast. Look what you were holding back. What were you afraid of? Five. So strong. Last three. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Oh. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, no weights. Exhale, forward fold, grab your dumbbells. Inhale, chair pose. Still narrow. Suitcase squat. Catch your breath. Tap your weights. Pinch it up. Seat to feet. Squeeze your glutes. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. This is something I never thought I'd do on like, well, any place would be documented. <laughs> Inhale, lower. Drop your seat. Exhale, clench your glutes at the top. I want you to pinch them together. I'm not thrusting my hips forward. I'm just squeezing what my mama gave me all together. Lift your chest and your gaze. The depth comes from your legs. Now, if you can't tap your weights to the ground, maybe you flip them like this. <laughs> maybe you just sink low and squeeze up. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. It's okay. Wherever you're at in your practice, it's okay. Wherever you're at mentally and emotionally right now, a little bit pissed, it's okay. But don't chuck anything at your device. It's not worth it. I know. This is going to live on cyberspace somewhere for like ever. That's daunting. Five more seconds. We're building with something good. Not yet. Three. Last two. Three quarters deadlift. So squeeze to stand. Inhale, lower. Bring your dumbbells beneath your knees. Exhale, squeeze your glutes forward, bring them above. Inhale, take them down. Exhale, squeeze them up. Inhale, tailbone back. Exhale, drive your glutes forward. Inhale, tailbone back. Exhale, squeeze. Flatten your back, your head, your neck, and extension of your spine. One long line of energy through your tailbone. No rounding. With your hamstring stretch. Oh, we're in that sweet spot again. We're in that sweet spot. Keep going. You get full range of motion. It's going to feel better in five. Stay with me for three. Two full range of motion. Add the upright row. Inhale lower. Exhale pull. Inhale down. Exhale up. Send it back. Squeeze it up. Send it back. Squeeze it up. Upright rows. Ooh, they're juicy. They're kind of easy, which I like. This is why you're at the end of class, right? We need a little something to get us through. Even though it's called a row and most rows are back exercises, this one's for your shoulders. So pull up, then squeeze back. Yes. You can also use momentum coming from your backside. Your backside is the strongest thing you have, Dan. Let it work for you now. Yes. Nice and easy. Just a nice and easy strength exercise. Notice how your heart rate's like a little better. I mean, you're still pretty sweaty. Like that puddle beneath you is validation all day long. Sure is. You gotta spike it up. In three. You're primed to prep. Don't worry. Last two. Weighted squat jumps this time. You're narrow. Inhale, tap, exhale, explode. Tap it, explode. Come on, come on. Knees forward. Chest up. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes, you can hit it. This is your last cardio burst. Your last one. I want your neighbors to hear you, see you, think you're a little bit nuts, and be a little bit jealous. Go. Channel it. All the frustration. Those five days you did change out of your, you know, one pair of sweatpants. Just me. Too much. Meh. Earn your hair wash. Today is the day you take a shower and wash your hair because you have to. Five. Bigger. Three. Last two. Inhale, chair pose. Oh. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. You're not going to puke. It's fine. Exhale, chaturanga. Your last chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Come to your knees. Woo! Friends, we ain't getting back up, but you do need your dumbbells. Come onto your back. Prepare for bridge pose. All the way down. Bring your dumbbells with you. Knuckles to the ground. Take a big breath in. Curl your tailbone under. Put your body weight into your right heel. Extend your left leg long. Press through your left heel. Lock your leg out. Stay for an inhale. Hover your hips. 
Exhale, leg lift, bicep curl to the ceiling. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. You point your knuckles to the ceiling. You only need to go 90 degrees through your bicep. This is one of those movements. The exercise is not enough. You can sort of skate through this. Don't do it. You're already laying down. Hover your hips. Keep them lifted. You get the full range bridge in our next variation. That's a true story. Okay, I had to check myself for a minute. Keep going. Squeeze your biceps and stretch them. Flex and stretch. Contract. Release with control. This is, again, up to you. You create the mind-muscle connection to get the work out of this. Keep them going. Your hamstring is on fire. I know. Come on. For three, add on in two. Last one, lift and press. Lower, down, curl, lift. Press your hips with your dumbbells. Lower, down, lift your hips and dumbbells. Lower, down, lift and curl, press. Lower, down, lift and curl, press. Two hover only, lift and curl. Press, keep going. Five. I know, I know. It's going to fall off. I promise it won't. I promise it won't. Three. Last two. Plant both heels on the ground. Oh, here's your breathe. Exhale, your weights overhead. Separate them here. Inhale, overhead. Exhale, in the ceiling. Inhale, stretch your lats. Exhale, contract. Inhale, lengthen your back muscles. Exhale, pinch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pinch, just relax through your lower body. As you do this movement with control, we want you to flare through your lats, your back muscles. The reason we build our backs to do a lot of rows is to create the illusion of a smaller waistline. So it's no coincidence we're kind of doing core and glute bridge and all of this together. Flare through your back. This gets wider, this gets smaller. Last three. Two, add a sit up. Inhale overhead. Exhale, lift. Overhead. Punch it up. Overhead. Punch it up. Keep going, keep going. Overhead. Punch it up. You've got this. We're so close. We're so close to being done with this thing. Stay with me. We've got a lot of built-in core. Yeah, you were squeezing. You know you are. You know you don't want to crunch at the end of this thing. Just a few more. Resetting. We've got side two. Last three. Two. Bridge pose. Reset. All of your body weight into your left heel. Plant it down. Turn your thumbs up towards the ceiling for a hammer curl. Press through your right heel. Lift your hips. Hold the hover. Stay for breath in. Exhale. Lift and curl. Lower. Lift and curl. Lower. As you lift, squeeze your lower abdominals. You get so much like lower ab love right here. It's the pooch. Okay. If you've had babies, it's the pooch. If you've not had babies, the pooch. If you don't have a uterus in your body, it's the pooch. Damn it, we are leaving with a V-cut. Engage everything. Tighten up. Pull your belly up and into your spine. Everything is active. Including your biceps. And you want that, right? More biceps. Keep going, keep going. We add the press. In three, two. Curl, lift, press. Lower, down. Curl, lift, press. Lower, down, curl, lift, press. Curl, lift, press. Squeeze your chest, I'm talking, please, friends. Lower, down, curl, lift, press. Lower, down, you got it. This is probably not flattering. Yeah, it's fine. This will help your judgment mode, right? There's evidence of this, of me and what happens here. But who knows how long? Nobody knows what's happening in your living room, bedroom, wherever you're doing this. Nobody knows. So just push through. Take it. Come on. Last three. Two. Release it down. Oh, friends, you made it. Congratulations. That was not easy. That's not something I can, like, just fly through. And that's why we do it. For now, take a full body stretch, pencil stretch. So bring your arms overhead, legs go long. Point your toes. Wiggle your fingers, get as long as you can, stretch through your entire abdominal wall. Stay for a big breath in. 
Exhale, hug your knees into your chest carefully. Your hamstrings are kind of mad. Rock side to side. Massage through your kidneys. Forward and back, show your spine some love. Anything you were holding in, just let it out. It's fine, it's over. It always seems impossible until it's done, and then it's done. Begin to find some stillness. Hug your knees into your chest and allow them to fall to the left side for a supine twist. Stack your right hip directly over your left. Glue your shoulder blades onto the ground. You can tee or cactus your arms. Gaze where it's comfortable. Feel the stretch in the middle of your back. If you have any lower back sensation, release your heels from your booty, your knees from your chest. I actually like my knees and ankles both kind of like touching the edge of my mat. Deep breathing. This is the feeling part of class. We don't get too much feeling stuff. So. Take a big breath in. Exhale, slowly come back to your center. Hug your knees into your chest. Reset your spine. Allow them to fall to the right. Supine twist. Step your left hip over your right. Again, plant your shoulders on your mat. Gaze where it's comfortable. If you need a little less, come out of the twist lightly. Again, release your knees from your chest. Feel this in your middle back, not your lower. Sometimes the chest hips are just a bonus. Big breath in. Exhale, slowly come back to your center. Find a figure for a stretch. Bring your right ankle above your left knee. If you prefer the sitting, and I do, you can take that too. Either way, flex your toes to help protect your knee. If you're on your back, you can certainly reach the keyhole you've created onto your hamstring. Either way, press your knee away from your body. Gentle sway if it feels good. Feel the stretch along your hip adductor, your side of your knee. Inhale, exhale, switch it out. Left ankle above your right knee. Pull your knee towards your body, press your left away, flex your toes. Gentle sway. Big breath in. Exhale, release. If you're not on your back, make your way there now. Inhale. Exhale, hug your knees in. Huge, huge squeeze. And release to your Shavasana. Take these few moments for yourself. Hopefully you out in just a moment. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers, your toes. Inhale your arms overhead, full body stretch. Exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Roll to your right side, find supported fetal position. Rest your head on your bicep, roll your knees into your chest. Take this moment to acknowledge all the hard work you just put in and know that it is not easy, even when you have a dedicated practice and want to move and feel great, it's hard. It's hard from home. It is. But you are doing a phenomenal job. And I don't mean just for the last 45 minutes. I mean, hands down, you rocked that. 
But in life, it's hard right now. There's so much uncertainty. There's so many unknowns. And we're so sick of hearing about it. We're so over it. But my friends, please, please, please take care of yourself and know that it's going to be okay. Give yourself a little bit of grace. We will get through this. Slowly press up to a comfortable seated position. Inhale your arms overhead. One last stretch. Exhale your hands in through heart center. You, my friends, are so freaking strong. You are worthy. You are enough. And we miss, miss, miss you. Until we see you again, we seal our practice with namaste. Awesome job, you guys. Have a phenomenal day. Go wash your hands and, like, come back to the world refreshed. We'll see you soon. Mwah!